Hello and welcome, Adam Thomas from Balancing Touch Reflexology. So good to see you and thanks for joining me today. Well, today I want to share with you maybe a mini obsession that I have and that is with Japanese socks. Every time I go to Japan, I find myself searching and searching for, you know, unique patterns and, you know, different designs in Japanese socks. And it's really cool because there's a bunch of different um, designs. So not only in the pattern that they use, but also the materials and also how they're made. Like there's some socks that you may have seen that have a split toe, so the big toe is separated from the rest of the toes. And you might have also seen where it's like a glove for the foot, right? All five toes are separated, so five toe socks. Some of these actually have a health benefit to them, and I wanna share that with you today. So let's go take a look and explore Japanese socks today. So during the summer when I'm back in Japan, you can find me digging through, um, you know, different bins and, you know, looking in different stores for socks. And it's crazy. It's pretty much every store you go into will have its own section and you'll find Japanese socks. And it's really amazing. And I think one of the reasons why there's such a wide range of socks in Japan is because just the pure fact that socks are more exposed in Japan, meaning like when you're in Japan, you take off your shoes, you leave them at the door. You leave them, you know, when you go and you go to use the restroom even, or go to the dentist office or things like that. You leave your shoes and then you, you know, expose your socks or, and then sometimes put in slippers. But just the fact that socks are more exposed in Japan leads, um, a way for socks being like a focal point of fashion, right? So this is one of the reasons why I think there's such a broad, wide range of, you know, designs of socks, not only in just patterns and, you know, sizes, and even it's made its way into, you know, there's more like technological socks where there's cooling effects and there's warming effects and, you know, different types of cuts in socks like you know, you'll see one with a split toe and you'll see one with five fingers, right? And so there's just such a huge wide range. Japan has basically, I'm gonna say three types of socks, right? So there's the normal, I'll say normal, <laughs> I'll, I'll call it common maybe, more common sock, right? Something like this, where, you know, it's a closed toe, and you have a heel and then it, you know the length can change and stuff like that but this is a basic sock shape right whereas you get something like a tabby sock which is like this one here so you have the split right and these developed um so that you could wear basically a shoe with that was that had a thong right so actually do i have the pair here yeah <laughs> this one actually has a thong design on it, so you can kind of see what I mean. But this was worn, so you can see the thong right there. Um, you know, the people would wear this way back when, like kimono days, um, and they could wear that, cover their feet, and still wear a thong as they walked around, right? So that's, I think, where the tabby has developed from. But nowadays it's sort of like just a cool fashion statement and I really like these. These are my favorite socks, by the way. Um, just the split toe. So this is called the tabby sock, right? And then you have the five toe sock, which is basically like a little glove for your foot, right? So you have, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And these are just amazing as well because they really allow your feet the full movement and also warmth or cooling effect um, by covering all your toes, right? So you have common sock, tabby, and five toe sock. So within the three categories of the socks, you know, the common sock, the tabby, and the five finger, they have developed a bunch of socks to keep you basically warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. 
And I'm usually there in the summer um, lately for, you know, to bring my kids to school there. And so what's available a lot is cooling socks. And I'll show you a pair here. So this is the five toe and this has some cooling technology in it. And it's, you know, I didn't really believe that it would be that much of a difference, but it's crazy the difference. So when I'm walking in this sock, I can actually like the, when the just the, the fact that my foot moves along this way creates a little bit of a breeze, right? And somehow it translates and keeps my foot really um, cool, right? And so this prevents my feet from sweating as much as they normally would, which in turn, if I was, you know, working and the, my feet were stuffed inside, you know, shoes all day with um, just normal socks, you can imagine how sweaty and it would be just a great environment for things like foot fungus and stuff to grow, right? So this technology that gets built into the socks actually can help your feet stay away from fungus. And then I also usually go to a place called Workman, which is a store that workers would go to to buy their, their work gear, you know, like carpentry stuff, you know, sort of, you know, different jackets and, you know, safety boots and safety wear, things like that, you know, like professionals, they would go to the store and buy that. And so it's really interesting because you can see um, different sections during the summer where there's a whole section on cooling, right? And there's a whole section on workers' um, socks. And another interesting thing too is that they are in natural materials, natural cotton, for example. And you'll find a toe sock like this and maybe quite a bit longer, so it goes all the way up your leg. And um, it's meant to actually help your feet breathe and allow the sweat to be pulled away from your feet rather than, again, creating that um, perfect condition for foot fungus to develop, right? And so not only, you know, do they look cool, but Japanese socks allow for, you know, better circulation and also um, less chance of getting any type of foot fungus, right? So it's really interesting um, that they've had this kind of, you know, foot focus um, technology that can has such great health benefits, right? And then also in the winter time, you get socks have a heating effect. They heat, they keep the heat inside instead of letting it dissipate, right? So it's really interesting how much um, thought and care and design goes into the socks, right? But for me personally, I'm looking for like, you know, sort of this kind of a design where it's more like it screams, you know, Asia, Japan, right? So it has more of a traditional kind of look to it. Even these ones are hilarious, right? Let's see here. Yeah. You have a Dharma, <laughs> right? Pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And if you ever go to Japan, highly recommend, you know, going and checking out different uh, sock places. And depending on what time of year, you'll, you'll notice this. You'll notice some that have like heat technology and also cool technology. Um, you, it's usually written in English, heat and cool, so it should be fairly easy to, uh, to find. But um, yeah, if you ever get a chance to try some of these cooling socks, it's absolutely amazing. There you go. Um, I love these socks and uh, <laughs> you can always check on the Instagram. I, I try and post pictures of my new socks. So um, if you're into that, <laughs> um, you can go check that out. Anything to house and keep your feet happy uh, is a bonus for me. Let me know if you have any cool socks that you um, go to all the time. That would be really great. You can leave in the comments below. Um, yeah, until next time. Catch you later. Bye bye. Let me know what you thought of this video by leaving a comment below. Any type of feedback can be useful. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you found it useful, feel free to share it with anybody who might be interested. Make sure that you have subscribed to this channel if you haven't already. And make sure that you hit, or better yet, step on that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out. And if you have some more time, why don't you check out some other videos? Until next time, this is Adam Thomas from balancingtouch.ca.